Um, so it's time to talk recruitment. Um, we have a, a panel of experts here. I mean, I know I got my first job in journalism because they lost my CV and didn't know I hadn't got any experience or training. But you probably can't count on that happening, so I thought we should ask the experts. So we have here um, Anna Swift from Framestore, Eamon Butler from Cine Sites, Laura Morton from Jellyfish Pictures, Aaron Allport from If You Can, Tom Box from Blue Zoo, Mike Farrell from MPC, and Michael Morgan from Ardman. Um, so welcome to all of you. <laughs> now, just before we get started, they have actually asked me to ask you a couple of questions just so they know sort of who, who we're talking to. Um, which of you are in the industry already? Okay, oh, quite a few. Um, and which of you are, you know, studying or finishing studying, just graduated, that kind of thing? Okay, so near, near enough, half mm -hmm. or half. Um, who's in games? Okay. Uh, film and animation. All right, so fairly even split across the board, so everybody should have somebody to talk to here. Um, can I just ask you all to introduce yourselves one by one? I guess, should we start at the far end with Michael? You want to start with me? Yeah, sorry. Uh, hello, can you guys hear me? All right, my name is Michael Morgan, and I'm based with Ardman Animation. So Ardman Animation, I'm based in the CG department, and I also do the animation course that they provide. And yeah, so I work in the CG and um, animation course. And that's me. Hi guys, I'm Mike. I work for MPC in the recruitment team. I recruit for compositing, roto prep, and concept art for film. Uh, I'm Tom, I'm co founder of Blue Zoo Animation in London and we specialise in CG character animation. We do a lot of uh, TV series and commercials. Uh, my name's Aaron Allport. I'm an art director in the games <coughs> industry. I've been making games for about 15 years uh, through you know, over different studios. At the moment, I'm part of a startup uh, which was um, created by the founder of EA, Trip Hawkins. Uh, the company's called If You Can, and we're making a, a mobile game for kids. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Hi, I'm Laura Morton from Jellyfish Pictures and Jellyfish Animation. We specialise in um, everything to do with VFX, so we work across commercials, film, television and corporate and we, I, I do all the recruitment for everything, so come talk to me. Uh, hi, I'm Eamon Butler and I'm the head of animation at Cinesite. I look after anything animation related including recruiting and supervising shows. Um, and we're primarily a visual effects test, but we're also branching out into feature animation at our Montreal studio. Hi, I'm Anna from Framestore. Um, I work on the film side of the business, working in recruitment and crewing. Um, so I recruit people into the company, and then I also look after the development of all the junior teams at Framestore. Okay. Okay, so um, at any point here, please jump in with questions. Just put your hand up. We have the ninjas on either side with the microphones, as usual. Um, so. Do put your hand up, just wave at me. I'll keep glancing around the room, so just wave until you get my attention, okay? But in the meantime, I'll get things started, I guess, which is um, what I think a lot of people want to know, which is, you know, what's the way into the industry? Is it is it a runner? Is that the way in? Are there other routes that people should be thinking about and looking at? Um, does it differ for all of you? So I guess, I don't know. I'm, I'm addressing it to all of you, so whoever answers first gets the ball. I think a good education helps. Yeah. Uh, knowing what you want to do also helps. Um, I think the days of people sort of generally trying everything are going away. People are tending to focus a lot more. Ten years ago, the education system was delivering people with it just who just touched on different things, and industry pushed back on that and said we really need a lot more specificity in the courses, and um, and that's what we've gotten. And, and the education system's gone great. I'm really amazed and surprised, pleasantly surprised at how strong the UK student pool has been, graduate pool. Uh, so I think that definitely helps. Mm -hmm. I think it. Oh, sorry. Go, Go on, on, Anna. After you. Okay. Thanks. Um, I think it, a lot of it can often depend on the the work that we've got at Framestore at any one time. So 
you know, if you've got your heart set on being a texture artist, that's that's great. Um, but we might say to you, we don't have any texture roles at the moment. We only need seniors because um, we've got some really tough work. But come in as a runner. Um, running is a really, really good way into the industry. We train all of our runners at Frame Store in either paint and roto and tracking, depending on what they want a career in, you know, 2D or 3D. So it's just, you know, keep keep your options open and be realistic about your goals so, sometimes it might take a little bit longer um than, than what you'd hoped but you know if you persevere you will get there in the end um, mike i guess did you yeah i think after university having a, a good understanding of exactly what you want to do um i don't think there's there's any real rush to just as soon as you leave start applying for everything try and have a think about exactly what it is you enjoy um because if you are going to end up working perhaps a few more extra hours than the standard nine to five then you want to be doing something that you enjoy so it's definitely worth considering before making the well uh, taking the punt into whichever discipline it is um i'd also say um go to festivals it's all about networking really and getting your name known so go to festivals and also uh, a good thing is uh, to try and apply for internships when they're available because it's all about getting to know the right people really yeah. and getting your reel in front of them. Um, creative skill set also really help newly graduated um, students to um, <coughs> to get onto their trainee finder programmes. So I'd recommend looking into that as well. Um, I think we're kind of touching on something that uh, I don't know how many of you were here yesterday but we kind of got slightly conflicting advice yesterday on whether it's better to be a generalist starting off or or to have a speciality I mean I guess ideally you want a bit of both you want something that you're really good at but you can also handle anything but you, you know I've, I've I think we here have been told both kind of as, as law is there a right answer or does it depend where you're going? Well, I think in the games industry, it kind of depends on what your passion is. Because there's so many different factions of the industry where if you want to be a generalist, and when I say generalist, you just want to make games, then there are studios out there who want you. Or you can start your own thing. You know, the great thing about the games industry at the moment is there's so many small startups, there's lots of incubators for startups to happen. So that's really exciting. But then if you're really passionate about one particular thing in games, whether it's UI design, whether it's animation, whether it's character art, all that kind of stuff, then you know, if that's what's gonna drive you, then there is parts of the industry that will cater for that too. The larger studios, console development, that kind of thing. I'll say the uh, the probably the the amount of specialists you have is probably proportional to the size of the mm. studio as well. Mm -hmm. So a much smaller company will have much more generalists compared to a bigger company. So there, there is that mix as well. Yeah, even in um, Ardman, with the CG department, they have mainly specialists, but also they have generalists because we do a lot of commercials and short films. So they like to get the artists if they're not doing animation to do comp or different areas like that. So it's obviously good to have a core skill and then be able to branch out as well. I think the, another way of looking at this is if you're uh, a specialist in something and that work dries up, so if you're an animator, for example, it's a very specialized job, and you come to the end of a, of a character animation project, we're, we're victims of what's available to work on and what we've won. And if we don't have a character animation show, then we have to shrink that team. So what I find is specialists who like to travel will always be in work, but if you want to be in London, learn more skills. If you want to be in one place, try to develop more skills because then you'll have longevity in that one place. But if you want to be a specialist and you want longevity in your career, be prepared to move around. And then, so I find that's the big difference. And I think that's a mindset that you guys need to figure out for yourselves. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how important is moving around? Have have all of you based your careers in London or, or I guess Bristol, Broadman maybe? But, well, but, do you move a lot? I move around. In fact, I was in Singapore with um, Lucasfilm ILM, and then I was with in Germany with Pixelmundo. So I move around quite a bit. So, yeah, and that's because I want to stay in animation, in character animation, creature animation. So like what Amy was saying, if you want to specialise, you definitely have to be prepared for that, okay, to move around, basically. It's also, I have to say, better for your career in that you have more leverage to negotiate. If you stay at one company doing the same thing, you're, you're, the way you get looked at financially is 
you'll only get a bump based on a percentage of what you've had before. It's almost always the way, right? I'm giving away the secrets now. Um, but if you move around, you can get more leverage. So if you just come back from Weta and you've worked on The Hobbit, whatever, and we really like animators, we're going to pay that more to get you if you've got the right experience. So having the experience is what gives you more value and helps you get further in your career, both financially and uh, in terms of opportunities.